Kidole cha naibu wa rais Rigathi Gashagwa kinapoendelea kumnyoshea rais mstaafu Uhuru Kenyatta. Rigathi hajakoma kulaumu uongozi uliopita kwa hali mbaya ya uchumi unaoendelea kuwachonyota wa Kenya. Gashagwa akisema kwamba uongozi wa rais mstaafu Uhuru Kenyatta uliwezesha uporaji wa mali ya umma akidokeza kulikuwa na wizi wa takriban bilioni 16 wakati uchaguzi mkuu. Two days before the elections, they stole six billion and pretended to sell some shares from Telcom. When there was a case before Supreme Court, they stole another ten billion, purportedly to pay some contractors. Money was being brought in cartons at Wilson Airport and flown with choppers to people's homes. And these are the people now unasikia wanaambiwa kuja andika statement kidogo anaingia ndio anatoroka. Na huku taifa la Kenya likiendelea kupambana na hali ngumu ya kiuchumi, Gashago amesema kwamba sasa taifa la Kenya linaweza kukopa mikopo kutoka mashirika ya kimataifa. We are borrowing money from banks, domestic borrowing at 14%. Why? The reason the people who are borrowing from government who are also the owner of the banks. So we will not even negotiate the interest. We have stopped that domestic borrowing. Aida, kuhusu mikopo ambayo serikali iliyokuwa ikipokea kutoka kwa mashirika ya kibinafsi ya humo nchini kwa riba ya 14%, sasa serikali ya Kenya kwanza imeahidi kubadilisha hilo. Before we came, in, we have been blacklisted by international leaders. We have now been given thumbs up. We can now engage the international leaders if we want any credit. Mtano huo na wafanyabiashara hao ulitoa nafasi ya serikali kuwapa nafasi kuwekeza kwenye sekta mbalimbali. His Excellency has been very very supportive. Many times I go to him and he gives me a full hearing even when I have many issues. And I can tell you that your things or your issues have been articulated. Gashagwa alizungumza haya alipokuwa kwenye kikao na wafanyabiashara kutoka eneo bunge la Tetu kaunti ya Nyeri. Faith Ndato Unugu TV